Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the levels of female manipulation. And I took tons of notes because this is every level of manipulation that women do when it comes to female nature in order to weaken you. Now, over the years, I've dated enough girls where I've seen all of the tests. I've seen all of the pullbacks. I know exactly how they do this, and I'm going to show you exactly what they do. So here's what you have to know in today's day and age, what you have to know if you're going to be dating modern women is I would say 90% of the manipulation is all controlled through the cell phone because the cell phone, okay, or just in general, right, media and whatnot, this is a woman's main energy source, okay? Her main energy source is exercising psychological manipulation to artificially inflate her psychological perceived value that she wants to have in your head of her, okay? All while decreasing your sexual market value and making you blind to your own worth. That's a woman's entire manipulation strategy oftentimes when you're dating and they do 90% of this all through the cell phone. So out of the dozens and dozens and dozens of women that I have actually dated over, you know, the, the years, this is everything that you are going to see. Okay. Right off the bat. Okay. Right off, right out of the gate, right off the bat. Here's what you're going to notice. The cell phone is where most of the control and manipulation happens. So I don't care if this is a direct message through social media. I don't care if this is a text message. I don't even care if you met the girl girl in person. And now all of a sudden you guys are going to start to text each other. So that way you can set something up. Here's what you're going to notice right off the bat. What you're going to notice when trying to make plans with a woman or talk to a woman, you're going to notice very long time delays to see if you double text. So this is the first, because what she's doing is she's trying to get interest indicators to gauge your interest and your investment level because she wants to test your sexual market value to see if you have other women or other options or how attractive you think she is. You have to remember this when it comes to hypergamy and a woman's mating strategy, she only wants the strongest man. So what she's looking at is she's looking at your emotional willpower and she's looking at your emotional investment that you may have in her right away. Okay. So the first thing you're going to see is, is, a test to see if you double text message her. So I will give you an example. Let's say you ask her a question or you send her something. Okay. She might let eight to 12 hours, sometimes even longer go by. Okay. Just to see how urgent you are to text her back or how urgent you are to see them. Okay. So that's the first thing you're going to notice is she wants to see if you double text message her. The second you double text message her, what you're going to notice is oftentimes her interest will drop and she will probably reply to it because it's common courtesy. But what you're going to notice then is slowly a text or two later, her interest will fade and you're never going to hear from her ever again. So that's the first thing that you're going to notice. Now, the next thing that you're going to notice when it comes to the phone and the text messaging and the time delay sequences is this you will oftentimes see that they will text back, but then instantly what they do is they put their phone on do not disturb, or it will say like this person has notifications silenced. I've seen this unanimous across dozens of women. Now they will text you back and then instantly they will go to the phone and they will put it on do not disturb mode. So that way it shows up on your feed or on your text message history that says this person has notification silence because what they're trying to do is they're trying to make it appear as if they are busy or they're going to try to make it appear as if they don't want to talk to you right in that moment. What you have to remember is that a lot of this is all tests. So majority of these women, or I would say even virtually all of these women, I have ended up being intimate with and formed some sort of relationship with to some degree. And these are women who have went on multiple dates with me and we've ended up having very good time together. But what you have to know is the phone in the beginning is where majority of these tests start to actually happen. So this is what you're going to see. You're going to message her back and she's going to see the message. She wants you to know that she saw it. So that way she feels as if she's ignoring you and she wants you to feel that to see what your reaction is. You have to remember you are the strong, stoic, stable rock. She wants to see if you can be moved off center. Your job is to be the man and to stay put right exactly where you're at. So this is what you're going to see is she will put her phone on do not disturb or it will say that this person has a notification silence to see what you're going to do. Now, last but not least, what you're going to notice what majority of all of them do on their phone is they will know that they have a text message from you and you will be mid conversation with them over the span of, you know, a couple days or a couple weeks. 
and they will oftentimes post on social media and they will purposefully post social media stories that they want you to see, okay, all without replying to you or all without replying to that text message that you sent her. What she's trying to do is she is trying to make you feel ignored. The second you get reactive and the second you say, oh, you know, why'd you do that? Or the second you get reactive and you show that you're moved off center, now you show that you care. The more that she sees that you care, now she sees that investment level. That investment level oftentimes will give her a sense in her brain that her sexual market value is higher than yours. And now the psychological perceived value that you once held in her brain at the beginning is no longer there. And now she's going to leave. What you're going to notice the more women you date is a lot of this is just perceived value and perceived status. A lot of the things that you think actually matter when it comes to dating women don't. So this is first, okay? A lot of this is going to happen right away off the bat when you guys are starting to text each other on the phone. Now, another thing that they're going to do if you guys made plans is they will purposefully flake or last minute they're going to tell you, hey, you know, something came up because what they're trying to do is they're trying to see how easy you are to set a date with again in the future. So you have to remember this. A king would never be won over so easily. Okay. Like Prince Charming is never going to just let stuff like that slide. So she wants to see if you have some backbone and some other things going on where she's no longer a priority at that time. So let me give you an example. You set a date with a girl. She says yes and confirms it. And then all of a sudden the day of the date comes and two hours later, she says that she's busy or she flakes on you. And then let's say a few days later, she texts you and says, Hey, do you have plans this Friday so we can meet up? If you say yes to that, you can expect another flake. And now she's never going to text you back ever again, because now you've shown your interest twice. And now you've shown that there's literally no repercussions for if this woman wastes your time and she sees just how easily accessible you are. So this is what you have to know right off the bat. You are going to see a lot of this with the cell phone. Now let's say you play your cards, right? and you text back properly, or maybe you guys have had a FaceTime date where she gets to see you and your tonality and your personality. Now you're going to notice a couple key tests on the date. So in person, there's a few tests that I've seen unanimous across women that they typically do. And a lot of times you guys, they don't even necessarily recognize or realize that they're doing this. This just happens naturally. So the first test that you're going to see on the date is going to be that woman purposefully disagreeing with you to see if you will hold firm on your beliefs, okay? And it might be the smallest little things. There's things I've noticed, like I've, I've looked at a shirt that was hanging on the shirt rack at a store and I said, oh my God, that's hideous. And she's like, oh, it's not that bad. What do you mean? And she wanted to see if I'm going to change my thought or to change my belief on that. You're going to notice little things, right? You make a comment Okay. And she's going to disagree with you to see if you will change your mind to that way, agree with her to hopefully not offend her. Now, here's what you're going to notice. High interest women, what they're going to do the entire date is probably laugh. They will giggle and they will constantly agree with you. You're going to say, I like rock and roll music. She's going to say, no way I do too. You're going to say, oh my gosh, that shirt on that rack at the store is hideous. She's going to say, oh my gosh, I know, right? I can't believe anyone would wear that. The women who are agreeing with you, these are women on your team, right? These are women who are probably a little bit more pre-sold on your value. So this is the first test you're going to see on the date. Okay. Always hold firm. If you have a belief and you say it, make sure that you hold firm on it. Now, the second thing that you're going to notice on dates oftentimes is the woman might tell you to do something to see if she can get you to do it. So she's going to try to dare you, or she's trying to see if she can get you to do something. So here's what I mean by that. Let's say, let's say you guys are all on a boat. Okay. And let's say the boat is really high and everyone's jumping off into the, the water or the river or the lake or whatever, right? And let's say you don't want to get wet right in that moment. You don't want to jump off the boat. She's going to say, I dare you. Or she's going to say, oh, you're being such a baby. You're being such a pansy. Why don't you just jump? Okay. She's going to dare you to do something that you don't want to do to see if you can do it. I will tell you this in that moment, you might think that you're taking a risk and you're being cool and you're proving to her that you'll do it. But what she's really looking at is she's looking at the strength of your persona and your identity to see if you will hold firm in your beliefs. Oftentimes what she's going to see is she's going to say, Hey, if I can get him to do something like that, that he doesn't want to do, I wonder if I can get him to do something really, really irresponsible or really stupid. And the second that you do that, you now disqualify yourself from that woman because she sees that you're easily moved off center. So that's the second thing that you're going to notice when you're on these dates in person. Now, the third 
piece of material that I put together for you is let's say you pass all of the tests in person and now you guys start to sleep with each other. Or you guys start sleeping together. Once you guys sleep together, this is like level three. Okay. The, th the third piece or the third piece of material that I put together for you. Once you guys start sleeping together, okay, women today, right? Like modern women, you're going to notice that a lot of them are told to never pursue a man. So you're going to notice that women today really hide and conceal their interests, even if it's 10 out of 10 interests. And you're going to notice women today will take months and months of talking to a guy, but trying to hold their interests together or hold their interests close to themselves without exposing it for a variety of reasons, right? A lot of it is just power dynamics and she wants to maintain the leverage. And a lot of it is her wanting you to stay blind to your own worth. And she doesn't want to give you any validation. So she can have the coolest guy in front of her. And even though it would absolutely make his day and make his week, right? If she was nice to him and she validated him, they will oftentimes hold this close and not do it. Nevertheless, once you're on the date with her or once you guys started sleeping together, okay, women will oftentimes make sure that they do not pursue you. So let's say you guys sleep together. What she will do is she will now wait days or even, you know, sometimes a week plus to see if you will reach out and you will text message her first or you will set plans with her again. Oftentimes what you're going to notice is there's a high chance that if you do, this may lower interest. Now this whole back and forth, almost like a cat and mouse dynamic, this right here is she is simply testing your interest level to see who will reach out first. Now let's go to the next level, level four, okay? This type of test is a pullback. And you will notice this with women once you guys have slept together anywhere from what I found between three and 10 times. Once you guys have slept together between three and 10 times, you can expect a 10 to 14 day pullback. This right here is where a woman is either qualifying you or disqualifying you for a relationship. So you can't fail this test either. If you guys have slept together between three to 10 times, here's what you have to know. This woman has super high interest in you. This woman has a super high investment level in you. And this woman really likes you. But now what she's going to do is she's going to try to test your emotional fortitude. So once you guys have slept together between three to 10 times, you could expect a 10 to 14 day pullback. And what she's doing is she is seeing if you are whipped yet. She is seeing if you desire a long-term relationship. What she's actually doing is she is seeing if you desire the commitment more than her. The second that you start to get needy or the second that you start to double text or the second that you start to fail any of these interest indicators is the second that she pulls back and now she has good reason to leave you. You have to remember women only want the strongest man. So she is seeing 100% if you will invest and show a lot of interest and pursue her. And that will just give her reason to fully pull back from you. So this right here is a test. If you pass this 10 day pullback or this 14 day pullback of no contact, which keep in mind, virtually all women are going to do this. They are majority of all of them are going to be doing this right here because now she's seeing if you're whipped. Now she's seeing if you're in love, you can expect the last level. So let's turn the page. This is the last piece that I put together for you. And I think that this is going to help all of you out. Okay. Level five now is if you pass that test, okay, if you pass the test where you held firm and you didn't reach out, you showed that you have a social life of abundance, you're out hanging out with your friends or other people. If you pass that test now, the next time she sees you or the next couple times she sees you, she is probably going to ask you to be her boyfriend. Now, my friend is where you have all of the leverage. All of the cards now are in your favor. And now you're the chooser, not just waiting to be chosen. If she asks you, hey, where is this going? Hey, will you be my boyfriend? Hey, will you be with me? You now have all the leverage. So keep this in mind. Her whole goal, I'm, I'm going to end the video with this. Her whole goal is to psychologically weaken you. You know, her whole goal is to see if she can make you weak. And the reason why you have to know this is because like, you got to think about this, how she looks at you. You're this big dude with a beard right? I'm not saying a hundred percent every time you're taller than her, but there's a good chance you're probably taller than her. You're not a hundred percent of the time bigger than her, but let's say that, you know, majority of the time size wise, you're probably bigger than her. So she's looking at you and she's going, here's this guy, you know, he's, he's bigger than me. He's taller than me. He has this beard. Um, I, I don't know what to do. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to psychologically see if I can mess with him. If I can screw with his head, I'm going to psychologically see if I can weaken him. Now, this is what a woman really tests is your internal strength and your internal fortitude. So her whole goal is to psychologically weaken you. And this really just comes down to male nature 
and female nature when it comes to dating dynamics. Your whole goal, okay, your whole goal or your whole end game is to see if you can get some booty. Her whole goal or her whole end game is to find reasons to not give it to you or to not give you any booty. Her whole goal or her whole end game is to find reasons to disqualify you. So all you have to know is her whole job from start to finish is to find ways to psychologically weaken you and to find ways to make it so that way you believe that she's higher value than you when it comes to the dating dynamics. And once you have lost that leverage, it's virtually impossible to maintain the frame of the relationship and then the whole thing will dissolve. These are all the tests that you're going to see when it comes to the female nature of the potential manipulation. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.